I am in Ottawa with Paula Gordon, Dr. Paula Gordon, who is an expert in women's health. And um, my wife um, gets her checkup, uh, her mammogram, mm -hmm. and, and other uh, tests. And um, you are an expert on this, and um, I'm thrilled that you and your husband, uh, Larry Goldenberg, doctor, uh, are here in Ottawa teaching us about health, uh, men's health from, from Larry and from you, from you Dr. Gordon, um, women's health. So what is the message you're giving to women? Well, I'm really glad to hear that your wife is having regular mammograms. We know that mammograms save lives, and women who have mammography are 40% less likely to die than women who don't. But there's a segment of women who don't benefit as much from mammography, and those are women with what we call dense breasts. Mm -hmm. And women with dense breasts are at a higher risk of getting breast cancer. And the double whammy is that it's harder to see cancer on a mammogram in a woman whose breasts are dense. So we're trying to raise awareness of this issue. It's not something that's generally known. It's normal to have dense breasts, and lots of women do but most women don't know anything about breast density. In fact, a lot of family doctors don't. So we're trying to get women aware. We want women to ask their doctors, and the doctor sometimes has to go through a couple of hoops to find out whether a woman has dense breasts. The only way you can find out is by looking at a mammogram. You can't tell by looking or even examining a woman's breasts whether they're dense. It's a, something that shows on a mammogram, and so sometimes it's in the mammogram report, sometimes it isn't but women should be asking and demanding to know what their breast density is so they can make other informed health decisions. Hmm. So you showed me um, some pictures and I had a, a five minute lesson and this is very important that women know uh, what their breast tissue is and if it's dense then and they're having a mammogram they may not be able to determine if, if there's a, a tumor there. So a normal mammogram doesn't necessarily mean no cancer if the breasts are dense. If you have fatty breasts, which is the opposite of dense, mammograms are 90%, 98% accurate. But if you have dense breasts, half of the cancers are not seen on the mammogram in women with dense breasts, and that's an important fact. So just like you'd want to know if you have high blood pressure because there's something you can do about it, women should want to know whether they have dense breasts, and then they can start pursuing other healthy behaviors. We know that alcohol is linked directly to breast cancer risk. The more you drink, the higher the risk. So women should drink in moderation or as little as they can get away with. Okay. We know that moderate exercise minimizes breast cancer risk, it reduces it, and we know that maintaining a healthy body weight reduces breast cancer risk, especially after menopause. So these are three important things women can do. Also, Women can do breast self-examination. Check your breasts periodically. Get to know what your normal texture feels like. And if you ever notice a change, go to the doctor and get it checked. So, Dr. Gordon, thank you for everything that you do to ensure healthier women in Canada. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.